Good afternoon, everyone. Everyone, it's Monday, February first, and we're, the little woman put the final touches on the surface. Drywall joint compound makes a great filler. Uh, so she's got all that done and sanded, and just needs a final wiping with a damp towel to get the dust off. I'm putting the final touches on shimming up and putting the last few screws here. This piece, or this piece, if you can recall, I had to trim off about an eighth inch from the bottom in the front, or was it the back? Geez, I can't remember anymore. Anyway, I scribe fitted the bottom of this piece. Yeah, it was the front, because there's a hump in the floor right here. And now this one, in order to get this corner square and this corner square and everything, this one needed to be elevated at about an eighth of an inch. Um, so go figure out how that works. But everything in here is like super square and straight. And what I'm using for shims is just plain old cedar shingles. It's a trick my dad taught me. Um, kind of tap them in there. And then after you put the screw in, you come back with a saw and you just cut it off flush. So they got one there, I got a piece in the back, and um, I drove that screw in and drove that screw in, and these guys are ready to cut. And I just use a regular carpenter saw, like that guy. So I get those things trimmed off, and uh, next I'm gonna work on getting this drawer installed. So something I've learned, I mean, I've never messed with these roller slides before, but they have a uh, a hold feature. I mean, it's not really gonna be enough for um, bus travel. I mean, this is for regular kitchen use, right? Or whatever. By the way, these are from Home Depot. Um, they're not the soft uh, pull-in ones. These are the heavy-duty ones. Supposedly, they hold 100 pounds a pair. Um, like, there's no way you can put 50 pounds on this one. It's fully extended, but um, I'm very happy with them. They're, they're very nice and strong, what you'd like to see in a, in a drawer slide. Full length, 24 inches long. So... Anyway, what I wanted to show you is when this, I, I installed these where the outer track is flush, just a hair shy of the front edge of the cabinet. But when you put this, push this all the way in, it's even further inset by maybe a sixteenth of an inch. It's kind of hard to show. But, so, um... I got to figure out. All right, so what I did to install these, I took a piece of three quarter inch plywood and I made a, used it as a spacer to space this down from the top. I was going to go all the way up to the top with it, but I used a piece of three quarter inch plywood to space these down. And what that does is it gives me perfect parallelism from this roller track to the wood. And actually before I did all that, I put the drawer on top of here, now I know my drawer is perfectly flat because I built it on my table saw. Um, and I put the drawer on here and it's still perfectly flat on here. So there's no twist in this. When I learned that, then I knew I could put these tracks and just match them to the cabinet on both sides. And, and the left and the right will be on the same plane. If they're not on the same plane, they'll still work. Uh, if it's only a little bit off, but when you pull the drawer out, the further you pull the drawer out, the tighter it gets because you're kind of fighting the, you know, one of these will be higher than the other way out here, right? But, um, so we're good with all that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to figure out what it takes to uh, mount the drawer, set the drawer height where my design is, is that the, the face of the drawer is halfway up this 
and it's going to be halfway out of that and on the other side too and see what I need to do to make a spacer to go under the drawer and hold it for me and then I'm going to pull this out to about this far and have the drawer in place up here with about I don't know I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this a 16th inch or whatever it is um, and then I'll, I'll put a screw in the front edge of both of these guys and um, you know then push the drawer in and make sure we're happy with the guy because we got these adjustable slots right so we're gonna take advantage of those adjustable slots and get the screw in there where we want it and then once we do that I'm gonna extend the drawer out I put the screws in the back and it should be perfect. Let's uh, let's hope it works. All right, so that's pretty much where I wanted the drawer to be. Um, it should be, three, you know, three eighths of an inch uh, space from the top to there and three eighths from there to the bottom of that piece of plywood. Um, but it looks like yeah, I didn't give it enough space here. I wanted to have uh, about three quarters of an inch of space at the bottom because my floor covering could be about three eighths of an inch thick, depending on the choices we make. And I need this gap to be large enough. That's an air intake for the ventilation of my refrigerator. So something I'm noticing here is, you know, the floor is crooked. As you could tell by down there how that guy is off up in the air an eighth of an inch on sitting on top of these shingles around the side there that I showed you a minute ago. So that amount of crookedness is going to show on this gap that's below the drawer. So the closer this is to the floor, the more that's going to show. So that's another reason for me to, I'm going to trim a little bit off the top here. I got to figure out exactly how much to give me what I want. And uh, at least it's not the other way that the drawer is too small, right? I've got plenty of space to work with for trimming off the top. I'm only, I'm only talking about, I don't know, raising it up about a quarter. You know, it's supposed to be three sixteenths of an inch from this surface to the top. So that's that's what I want to have. I guess I guess I might have goofed up and set this to the height of this, and that's not really what I want. I mean, I could have done that, but I, I want this to be um, lower than this surface. So, yeah, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, the width. Yeah, the width is short on both sides, and that's what I was shooting for because, you know, it's just, I mean, it could have, I could have made it match this opening, right, the outer sides of this, but I chose to do it this way. So I got to figure out what we're going to do to how much we want to cut off of there and uh, bring it out to the table saw, cut it, then run the router around the whole perimeter to put the bevel, the, the radius, back on here. Sand it again. And then we'll come back and do the install. Well, I guess I could do the install now and trim it later. All right. So I got this screw and on this side and the other side right now installed. And what I did is I just I just took a straight edge and I matched the top edge of the drawer to the top edge of this. So that was a goof. I forgot to subtract uh, three eighths of an inch uh, when I cut this piece of wood. Um, but anyway, the back of the door is just dragging on the on the floor right now, and that's fine. But the height of this is doing exactly what I want. I got nice height, nice elevation for ventilation there. So now all I got to do is unlatch these little plastic guys here and pull the drawer fully out along with these and then put a screw in the back of these 
back here, wherever the heck they are, um, ensuring that this is straight in line with this. And we're done. Got her done. So by the way, we're pre-drilling our holes with a 764th drill bit. That's just a 64th of an inch smaller than an eighth. Uh, and I'm using number eight sheet metal screws. Normally you would pre-drill an eighth inch for these guys, but I wanted them a little bit tighter since I'm going in wood. So what I ended up doing is uh, I took my dial caliper, since I got one, and uh, I measured using those those points from the top from did I show that right I know I'm looking at it but I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing from there to there is equal to there to there and from there to there and also from there to there so I measured my depth like this and I just matched it at the other end of this inner piece in the back. And then I made this side match exactly. So we're like super, super close. And the drawer is absolutely perfect. How about that? So I could actually could actually put a little bit more space so that way it'll leave me room to put some little rubber pad things in here so when you slam the door it doesn't make a big noise and it's a little bit easier on the, the glue joints to have a cushion so I don't think about doing that but for now we're in there and it looks great all right that is really a nice drawer. The little woman's gonna be able to put all her baking pans in there. Can't wait till she sees that. She's gonna be so happy.